Rupert from Tackle Bruce here. Going to show you something that's golden here, something that's worth its weight in gold. In fact, more than gold. Uh, it's green. It's a green card. It's a residency permit to live in these amazing United States of America. And I came here, I came here from England, uh, which is a first world country, a uh, former uh, global superpower, uh, where the, uh, one of the most popular uh, chaps' names now uh, for, for newborn babies is Mohammed. And our national dish, bearing in mind that we're, you know, the French used to know us as the roast beefs, you know, the roast of the beef eaters of England. Uh, the national dish is now chicken tikka masala. And increasingly, over an extended period of time, I found that my personal beliefs and values were out of step with those around me. So I did one. I, I moved because I'm not a tree. And and I can do that kind of thing. So having travelled a lot, uh, I've, I've, I've kind of I've, I've visited over six continents, uh, loads and loads of countries. I can I can tell you that the statement that may or may not have been made yesterday by the Donald, uh, the President of the United States, is absolutely bang on. It really is uh, because people don't want to come to America for any other reason other than to better themselves. All right, or blow it up. That's the other reason they come here. So, so let's be honest here. Um, most of you have never been to uh, Haiti. Uh, most of you don't even know where it is. Um, but I've been, uh, and I've been to both sides of the same island. That's right, Haiti isn't an island. Um, the island is called Hispaniola. And that's a name that probably is familiar with you, because there was a fellow once upon a time called Christopher Columbus who came here and he had some boats. Hispaniola, uh, that's the island's name. Half of the island is called Dominican Republic, the other half is called Haiti, which has in enjoyed a whole uh, a, a catalog of civil wars, civil insurrection, poverty and disasters, and the place is a shithole. It's awful, it's a war zone. And if ever you go there, I can assure you that you wouldn't want to give up your lifestyle in California or Texas or New York to go and live in that place. You, you really, really wouldn't. No more than you'd probably want to go and live in Saudi Arabia or Libya or Ethiopia or Somalia or any of these other third world shitholes. And you know, America has been a melting pot of, of different cultures and, and, and nationalities for as long as it's been around. My name is Rupert Ellis and you've got a place here called Ellis Island and it's got a statue on it that the people of France gave you and it talks about, you know, sending, sending us your great unwashed and your masses and, and welcoming them here. And you have this huge melting pot of communities which has become America and your diversity is your strength. But you know, it's like my country, I, I, we, we embrace diversity, but it, it, all we did was dilute our own culture. And, and if you want to be an American and you want to, and you want to have a lifestyle here, which I understand, I've done that too, then, then I'm going to give you a bit of advice. FIFO. FIFO. Fit in or fuck off. Simple as that, really. Because if you want to come and live here, do so legally like I did. There's paperwork that the immigration people will help you with, all right? It costs a lot of money. It cost me, I think, 1,500 bucks initially, another 550 for, for my wife. The renewal is just is over 600 bucks, and I've had to pay that a few times. You have to pay all your own medical. You have to waive all your rights to social benefits. And I did that knowingly, because guess what? See all this white stuff here? I'm, I'm, I'm a man, I'm a, I'm, I'm, and I made my own decisions because I'm a big boy now. And I, and I came here knowing that, that I would have to give up a whole load of lights, rights in order to build a life in America. And I'm delighted to be here. I love my little life in Texas, I really, really do. And yeah, there's some things that I'd really quite, I'd quite miss in my country, but not that many that I'm not prepared to give them up to come and live here. So before you, your head melts in, because the president may or may not have talked about third world shitholes and the people who want to come here, go visit them first, all right? And you decide whether you want to give up your, your lifestyle here in these United States of America to go and live in Saudi Arabia. See, see, how, see, see how free your life is there. Or Ethiopia, or Somalia, or the Congo, or Libya, or any of these places that everybody's trying to escape from. They want to leave for a reason, and that's because we all want a better life for ourselves and our future and our families. We all do. You know, it's kind of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all look for, for, uh, for stability in our lives. You know, it's one of our basic human uh, driving functions. So before you criticise a, a man who's been around and been to these places that you haven't been to, go to them first and decide for yourself whether you'd like to go and live in a third world tropical uh, paradise uh, with civil war, uh, no medicine, no money... Uh, or, or, or whether you'd rather live here. I, I bless the Donald, you know, he said what we all think. Uh, and, and, and you know what, well, I'm sick and tired of this guy being beaten up for, for, for telling the truth, really. Uh, the media are sick, and, and you know, uh, the, the, the reality is is that this guy has gone, gone out of his way to try and put the country back on its feet again. Lead it out of the dark ages, back in, you know, make America great again. It says everything in that little phrase. You know, and if you don't want to be American, 
leave. <laughs> Simple as that, you know? And, and, and here's the thing, having, having come here the legal way, having paid my money, having done my dues, having fitted in and tried to build a life here, become a federal licensee, and I've got an American, a Cherokee wife, and all that kind of good stuff, all those people who've come here illegally, you're stealing from me. You're stealing from my wife, you're stealing from my staff, you're stealing from my colleagues and my neighbors. All right, and there's no excuse for it because you can come here legally and enjoy a real good life. And there's no need for you to do it the other way. So, you know, there's a few, a few things to tell you about today. I'm very, very proud to be here. Uh, I'm sick to death of people uh, talking, uh, you know, uh, misquoting the, the Donald. And thirdly, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, once again, I just have to say thank you for letting me live in your country. I really appreciate it. And there's a shitload of us immigrants that feel that way. You know, we really do. We love it here. We absolutely love it here. Um, so, just hold that thought for a moment before you, before you, your head, you know, kind of explodes over uh, over immigration and what the Donald might have said. Go and visit these countries first as well, because I think you're going to find for yourself third world shit. I'll really sums them up quite nicely. Anyway, that's been me, Rupert from Tackle Breeze. Um, look, it's gold, isn't it? A green card. Who'd have thought? I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, yeah.